hello and welcome everyone so in this video we'll be creating the tone space ability um, just note that the previous ability that i actually called tone space entire tutorial was actually cosmic rift i have changed the name so don't get confused so tone space and ability where a player selects a location and he can teleport instantly to that location so we'll be creating this ability in this video so to start off what i'm do is create a new folder and call this tone space okay Let's start by creating a blueprint class of the type gameplay ability. And this is going to be this one. I'm going to call this G underscore Tom space. Okay, open this up. And basically, this is also going to be our targeting ability. We target a location, we confirm that location, and we're going to teleport to that location. So, what I want to do is save with target data okay and for the class i'm going to use my guest target actor and confirmation is going to be user confirmed and on valid data what i'm going to say is just get this hit results and i'm going to say break hit results okay and from this location i'm going to say select vector okay so if you are blocking i want to use this a and if you are not blocking we are going to be selecting this B. Okay. And I want to teleport to that location. So I'm say move to um this is going to be this one. Okay. So this is a custom ability task that I will be using. And I'm going to do this on battle data. And the location is going to be this one. Now this duration is an interesting thing. So the amount of duration that you want for a teleport, zero is an instant uh, teleportation, but I want it to be slowly moving towards the location. So this is going to be 0 0.2. Okay, on reached, what I don't do is just simply end ability. Okay, and on cancel, I also want to end ability. And there's another thing that we have to do for our targeting abilities is I'm going to say get Morning actor from actor info and say is targeting this one. Okay, so just to point out that this node executes immediately after this node, and this node is going to execute only once we have confirmed our targeting, and this one is going to be called only when we have cancelled our targeting. Okay, and similarly on end ability, what I want to do is copy this and use this over here. And I'm going to uncheck this so that we can simply use our projectile abilities as is. I think this is done. Oh, we also need this radical class. So going back to our folder, we're going to create a new blueprint class. And this is going to go to type gameplay ability G world radical. This one is going to be GA red tone space. Okay, so as always, this is going to be like just a visual. So I'm going to just add a sphere, this one, and this is going to take a material um, outer ring translucent. This one, and I think the size is okay for this. Let's compile and save this and just plug this in over here okay so and we are going to initialize this ability on q so i'm going to say q ability now this is happening inside of our character blueprint maybe i'm going too fast okay and i am going to select my town space ability over here okay and i also want to grant this ability inside of my initial abilities so open this up and this is going to be this one geotone space if you don't see this just click on the side and select this your inherited variables and i think this is it so let's test this out so if i move this character over here and press the q key you see something funny is happening over here okay 
So the problem with this is that we are doing line trace continuously on the tick inside of C++. And my sphere actually has um, collision. So that collision causing the radical to move towards the camera. So just change this to no collision, compile and save this. And let's test this again. So if I press my Q key, you can see I'm targeting and let's try to teleport over here. If I press my left mouse button, I have teleported and let's just try to teleport over in the air. Okay. And if I want to teleport on this, okay. So another thing to note is that this actor is not visible to the client, the other client. Okay. So this is it for this video. And in the next video, we'll be creating the ultimate ability of Gideon, um, where he creates a black hole and applies damage, ticking damage over time to the actors inside of the black hole. Okay, so this is it for this video. Thank you very much.